Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. How are you doing? Well, we've had an update to the game since I played last. You may or may not have seen this yet, but let me quickly jump into the options menu. Under miscellaneous, you can now turn off the auto-open of chirper messages. I leave it on because I do actually like it and they are handy. That is the only thing I've seen that's changed so far. There's nothing else that I can see that has been adjusted or changed or anything like that. Um, I was hoping for some way of limiting the frames per second or a V-Sync option or something, because there isn't that in the game at the moment. And it does run with a lot of frames per second, I can tell. If you could limit it to 60 or 120 or something, that would be good. But uh, there we go. Today, what are we going to be working on? Well, I would really like... This place looks amazing. I do like this university. It looks really, really nice. Oh, we've had a building burn down. Not very good. It would be good as well if you could click on these and zoom straight to the place that's burnt down. We've had a few buildings burn down. Wow, is our coverage over here for fire not as good as it should be? Good grief. The wood industry seems to want to be able to burn down their buildings a lot. Oh my goodness me. Well, I tell you what we're going to do is we're going to try and immediately fix that. Where's our nearest fire stations? They're all over there. Well, that explains it then, doesn't it? So we're going to add a firehouse in over here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, hopefully solve that problem. But I want to fix this here. I'm just going to pause the game because traffic coming in and out. Something you guys have mentioned to me. We, ha we have this here set up, a nice clover leaf. People will get in and out of this area. When I have more money, I will delete this, move this up, straighten and tidy that all up. Do not worry about that. But this here, mm, yes. Yeah. So, there have been some assets that have added to the game made by other people. We're still on a version where assets don't really show up properly in the game. Wow. But lots of different junctions people have been working on. There we go. And they've added them onto the Steam store, and there's some little roundabouts up here. Let's have a look. What's that one there? That's the clover leaf. These are the ones that you have normally. They were here a few minutes ago. You can see some of these. I'm holding them up here. So you've got like a triple junction thing there, something a bit different. That's like a double junction thing. But there's one along... Oh, look at that one. That's a big old... That's a big old beast, isn't it? Let's go on a piece of land. That is that is a nice looking piece of road. There we go, another triple one. But on here somewhere is a nice roundabout. That looks like a nice one, doesn't it? I like the look of that. But people have been at, oh here we go, look. We have Oh, that's the roundabouts we normally have. That's the one we normally have. Oh, don't tell me it's disappeared with the update. There we go. The smallest roundabout you can make. Teeny tiny roundabout, and then one that's slightly bigger. Unless that one's been... Oh, I think that one's been removed. So we've got the smallest roundabout. But then next to it, there was... There was an incoming junction that I wanted to use uh, in here to sort of solve this problem because we have a lot of traffic here. Let me see how I find the darn thing. It wasn't the clover leaf. Was it this one? Let's spin... I think this was it. So you've got the incoming and outgoing road. Let's have a look at this. Slopes to get up and down. Yeah, because this is a four-way junction that's struggling. Um, but we could fit that in there with a bit of jiggery-pokery. There was another one that looked quite good as well. Let's spin this around. That's the clover leaf again. Let me just see if I can find it. Here we go. This is it. So we've got the two teeny tiny roundabouts. These are the ones I was looking for. That one there. And that one there. And then next to it, oh, another tiny roundabout was this. And I think this looked very good for adding into this section here. You've got an up and an over to go to the left and the right. Then you've got the two through roads. And I think that could solve a lot of problems here. So what I'm going to do is remove as much as I need here to fit that thing in. Let's find it again. And it's going to mean removing some of the... Let's see, does these need to go as well? It looks like we're going to have to remove some of these roads. Sorry guys, some of these houses. But it's going to be better in the long run. Let's just remove a few. Slope too steep. Oh darn it, what? Why are you saying slope too steep? 
So it went blue there a minute ago. There we go. So it will go in there. But why would it not fit in here? And look at all these cars with nowhere to go. Look. Oh, they're all going to disappear. <laughs> Sometimes they just go off and find a road that's a lot better. Oh, no. Why will that not go in? So it will go that way. But that's no flipping good, is it? I want it this way. Is that just not going to fit in? Let's just clear up a little bit more space. Oh, that's a shame that that one won't fit in. <sighs> what about this one? That's not got a through road, is it? There's some really cool junctions on it, but that was the one I thought was going to be the one to solve our problem. I mean, the other thing is, is just to stick around about here. That's got an in and an out, but I wanted one of these with the overpasses. So maybe... Yeah, because none of the... I mean, that's a four-way. Why is it... I, don't, I think whoever's made it hasn't necessarily tested the thing. And worked out whether it will fit or not. I mean, that's quite a nifty looking one, isn't it? Look, that's got two through roads in and out as well. Let's just angle that round. That's just a bit too big, isn't it? I think we might just have to go with a standard roundabout. And that's definitely going to... Oh, what about this one? Space already occupied, but... We could... Oh, 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 oh. There is a spot it will go. What about that? What about that? So what have we got here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting a bit of... There we go. So this shouldn't be too bad. So that's coming in. So let's connect this up then. There we go. That's coming out. Let's connect that up. And we've got our outs and stuff going there. That's good. And then this here, that's going up and down. So we want that as... Oh, I've done six-lane road instead of highway, have I? Or is that okay? No, that seems to have connected okay. Yeah, let's just go straight to here with this one. So that gives us a junction there. Straight to there with that one. And then the only other thing is this bit here. Let's see. How should we change this? I might just do a bit of complete removal of that for now. So that road's going out. And we want to get that into a two lane. So it may be... And what have we got here? This is our... Let's just come out of that road. Stansted Fire Station. Can we move that somewhere else for now? We can. I like this relocation option. Let's stick that there. Good, good, good. Everybody's still pleased. And also we can get in and out very quickly. Although we'll have a look at that in a moment. Can we add a roundabout on here? I think that would be a good idea. Let's take a look at the standard roundabouts we've got. That's too big. We could use one of the small ones. I wish the asset, <laughs> wish these asset things would load up so we could actually see them. That would be very helpful. Nope. Further back the other way. It's one of these, isn't it? Do, 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 do. We shall find it. We shall find it. And I think this is going to solve a lot of the problems that we've got. Again, don't forget, this is going to be fixed once the game is released. There we go. Something like that. I mean, it's very small... And what I would do is angle it so we've got the two roads there and the two roads here connecting to this. Let's give that a go. Let's give that a go and see. So which... This is an up and down road. This is a freaky looking... No, it's got to connect on the end there. Let's just, let's just connect it up. And see what happens. Space already occupied. What's this building? Oh, medical clinic. Okay, let's move that. Uh, where can we put that? Let's just... Let's just shift it up to there. Space already occupied. What by? 
Okay, let's make that a curvy road then. There we go. So what do we reckon to this? Let's start the game again. Get it all going. So I think this is going to help. So we've got people coming this way in there. People coming this way in over the top. That's good. And when they're coming out, they're coming up here. And they can go that way. Or they can join the lane and go that way. Yep. Which is good. So there's still a bit of a, a bottleneck here, isn't there? Let's see how it goes. Let's see whether that increases a bit. I mean, you can see the traffic is piling up back there. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. Right, let's take a quick look at our water and electricity is fine. We've also been collecting oil now. If we look over here, Biff Oil has been building up. So we have all these guys here that are making all sorts of oil. Which means our oil station is now has oil stored for weeks. So what I'm going to do... Actually, no, I'm not going to adjust anything. We're going to leave that as it is. Let's just delete that... Why are these people going abandoned? What's the reason? Not enough workers. I think it's more a case of workers can't get over there. What's wrong with our garbage collection services? Oh, let's take another quick look at that. See what's going on. 34% full operating normally. That one's emptying. That one's 13% full. That one's emptying. How are these? Dead person waiting for transport. Okay. Uh, that's almost full. That's almost full. That's almost full. I think we need some more garbage collection over this way. I think that's what the problem is. It's too far for them to travel all the way over there. We've got some industry type stuff here. I think another... Let's just have a look at our ore here. No, that's okay that little bit there. I don't want to sort of cover over any ore type places. Let's put that right on the edge. And the incineration plant as well. And hopefully that will start going over there. Let's just speed things up a bit. Still waiting for before to start off. Before oil is okay, but before is struggling. Are these all because of the garbage? Yes, they are. Look at them. They're all worried about their rubbish, which is not good. Hmm. Hopefully that's going to make a difference. I'm wondering whether just to add what, another one in. That's so far away. Whether just to put one along here somewhere as well. Although that's really going to affect the pollution sort of thing that's going on. I could run this road out and have one up here. Do you know what? That might be an idea. Let's just run... Just look at the area first. Because we were going to spread out here a bit more, weren't we? Mm, let's just see how this one does. Let's see how this one does over here. And hopefully that will make a difference. Do you know what? Something else we probably could do with down this end is... Not a medical clinic. A firehouse. Just to sort of cover... Cover this area. Oh, here we go. Got some people moving in. Uh, uranium. Good, good. Excellent. How's the traffic looking? Still pretty rubbish. It's moving good here. It's just the... What did he say? Consider the eco ecological impact of mining. Yes. It's still this bit here. I'm wondering whether a roundabout here would be good. That's what that's what we need. We need a great big great big interchange at the beginning here. So this has sort of freed up this section. Although everything's stopped. What's going on? Why has everybody stopped moving? Oh, there we go, moving again. We've decided where they're gonna go. Yeah, I may have to think about that. <laughs> See what we can do. <gasps> what? The fires. Wow. 
And I've got a fire station there as well. What's wrong with him? He's operating normally. Fire engines in use four of six. Have I messed with my budget on the fire station or something? No. Let's have a look at our fire coverage over here. Fire and efficiency high. Hazard higher over here. I'm going to just add another one of these in. That is, make sure that's the right one. Another firehouse. Because these guys seem pretty... Pretty intent on setting fire to themselves a lot. Now, something that quite a few people have noticed on videos and streams that they've been watching is sometimes when things get out of hand, you get a lot of abandoned buildings and you have to go around and manually remove them. And all this sort of feedback is getting seen by, by Paradox. And hopefully they will they will change some things. They're already sort of tweaking a few things, which is good. Oh, we have somewhere on fire over here. The oil industry is picking up well. How's the fire coverage this way? Do you know what? I'm going to stick another firehouse down there because with the oil industry being what it is flammable which is what it is I think we need to be careful and make sure we don't have any problems okay abandoned buildings burnt down abandoned burnt burnt let's just go through and remove all of these whoops we moved the wrong one and hopefully encourage more people to move back in again. Because I don't think they remove themselves. I think abandoned buildings can be... Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you. Abandoned buildings can be occupied again, but burnt down buildings will not. And this one's on fire. Oh, they're putting it out. That's good. We should have a look around here. Everybody's okay in Lower Bifton. Let's just take off my bulldozer tool in case I accidentally bulldoze something. Yeah, these are all okay. Yeah, we know we need outside connections there. That's all right. What are you... Whoa! I've got a few things running in the background, so apologies if there's a little bit of herky-jerkiness. Sewage treatment. Okay, we have plenty of water. Oh, you're not covered by water pipes. That's not very good, is it? Let's... I'm putting out so many videos at the moment, particularly with all the Skyline stuff. That I've got stuff running on my PC in the background that I wouldn't normally have running. What's he saying? Not enough goods to sell. Shelves are getting empty. Make sure there's enough industrial. Well, that's interesting. I haven't seen that message before. We've got industrial here that's not filling up yet. Why are you moaning about electricity? Let's, you're not quite connected enough, are you? Let's... There we go. Let's connect you. Hmm. So we could add a little bit more industrial in over here somewhere. Let's just quickly get rid of these last few buildings. I think that was it. I saw... Oh, a couple more, a couple more. Man, I'll tell you what. It, it is a balancing act, isn't it? It really is. Traffic being one of them. People being the other. Well, welcome to uh, <laughs> welcome to Skitter City Skyline. Oh, there we go. Look, the oil industry is picking right up. How's he doing over here? Oil store for five weeks. Coal for no weeks. Coal for seven weeks. Let's turn on the coal power plants. Because electricity... There we go. That's good. Sewage treatment needs beefing up. That's okay. We can do that. Let's add another... Let's add another one of those in. And then connect up... Our pipes. There. Is that getting electricity? Not operating. Operating normally. Operating normally. There we go. Yep. Got all electrified. Excellent. Just checking out the traffic in a few different places. Let's have a look. So it is still really this one here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do something about that. Because that is... That is really causing a problem. That junction wasn't particularly good then, was it? Hmm. 
I suppose this would normally go here instead of this one. So you've got the in and out going either way. Because this is more of a through road motorway, isn't it? Look, three lanes. Yeah. I wonder whether to add another one of those here. What do we think? Because then, if these were coming in this side, they would go... Yeah, that's going out, isn't it? No. Oh, they'd go over and down and round. It'd still cause the problem, wouldn't it? Perhaps. I mean, we could try it out, couldn't we? Delete all of this and stick another one of these on here? It'd probably have to be over a bit, because it's quite big. What we need is some sort of big roundabout being designed that can sort of really take really take the heavyweight traffic that there is of a motorway. These are too small, aren't they? That's the little small roundabout. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look through these. And I mean, I, I could just add a clover leaf here now. Let's take that round the other way. Come on, spin round. There we go. It'll have to be out this way a bit. Have a flyover. I'm wondering whether something like that is going to be a lot better to help keep things moving. But really, it's once you come off that it's the problem, isn't it? I don't know. Well, think about that. If you've got any ideas, let me know. I've been watching this traffic for a little bit, and do you know what I think it is? Is a lot of these cars want to go down, but they've been stopped by cars going that way. I'm just wondering whether... <laughs> not that. Whether a little flyover would be helpful coming off of here, if people want to go up and over, a little bridge over here and connecting back to this again. Because if you look, for instance, watch that van there, look. There we go. He's going to want to come. He's going that way. Yeah. Hmm. This, let's have a go. Why not? I mean, this is all about experimenting and learning. So let's start there. Let's have a look. We want to go down here. So if we go this way and then curve it. Nope, it's not going to let you. That way and curve it. Nope. Let's try a straight bit there. And this is going to be interesting to see. Why is that same space already occupied? Is that because that's a piece of that road? Nope. Will it let me do it from here? Nope. Come on. There we go. Maybe I can't do that then. It's not letting me actually add it in. Oh, electricity. Why is the electricity gone now? Whoa, electricity. Suddenly everybody wants electricity. Electricity availability. Why has that suddenly gone so bad? Uh, not enough fuel. It's got fuel for two weeks. Fuel for naught weeks. Oil for naught weeks. Oh, that's why. Suddenly running out of oil. Oh, man. Incinerators are making stuff. Operating normally. 60% full. Building is emptying slowly. It's like this stuff can't quite keep up with what we have. Let's add another one of those. And another one of these. Hopefully that will solve that problem. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can get a little bypass bridgey type thing. It's just going to let us put it anywhere. It will go that way. Okay, and that wasn't the bendy road, which is what I wanted. And if it goes like that, then we go up. Let's see, and I want to go across here. Let's go down and along a bit first. Okay, let's go up. Up, page up. Page up one. It's just going to connect to the. Oh, there we go. Look. And across. Then down. Get that straight again. There we go. And then just connect that to here. So now people can come up. Oh, that's like. That's two way, isn't it? I wanted to make that one way. Can I change that to one way? 
<gasps> I wanted that to be a one-way road, but I've made it all two-way. Uh, I tell you what, let me redo that into a two-way road. Uh, a one-way road, one second. There we go, that's now one way. So if they want to, they can come up and over and join onto there. I'm wondering whether to have the same going back. So have that going up and join onto there. What do we think if people want to get over and start it here instead? Let's give that a go. Why not? So let's go to there. To there. Then go page up. Let's go back to straight again. And we'll turn off the snap to grid as well. And that's going to help us line it up exactly as we want. Oh, I've cut some of the electric cables. I think that's what I've done wrong. Can I go there? Get that as short as possible. Because then we're going to need to go down. And then we're going to have to have enough space to curve it in. So hopefully there. This is going to be the freakiest connection ever. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. Wow, this road just gets better and better. Let's just check on electri electrical connections. Yeah, that doesn't seem right there. Let's see if we can just do that. And that probably... Did that connect anywhere else? I think everybody's okay. It's just the electrical availability has gone down a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, so let's up our budget on that just while we're, while we're looking at it. 120%. Okay. Let's see if people are using the new road. So you want to come up. That's one way. Come down. Yeah, so that should work. And then when you're going out... There we go. Look, people are using this one. Straight up there, no messing. And they only should be coming down here if they go into the industry. But they can also, if they want, go up here and across to the industry. Or up here and across to the houses. So where are all these cars going? Okay, let's see. Where's he going? Delivering goods to shop till you drop. Right, okay. So you're travelling over here. So basically you're going straight on. Let's have a look at you. Resides at the Franklin residence. Going to the Franklin residence. So he's going to that new area as well. Maybe that we need to add a... Add something else! <laughs> add more roads! Where are you going? The more residence. Okay. So you're travelling over to this new area. So lots of them are going down there. Porting goods to the home of the stuff store. Okay, alright, well, so let's just randomly pick one more from the back of the queue. Where are you going, sir? Going to Plaza with picnic tables. New area as well. I just spotted a car that was pulling out. This one, where's he going? The Laurel residence. So they're all going to the new areas that I've set up. And I'm hoping that they can... Why was a car going up there? This should be this should be one look, this should be one way, surely. Because that's one way. That's not one way, is it? But this should be one way. Shouldn't it? Because then these cars here, when they come out, no, they need to get on. Yeah, they need to come out and go one way this way. Maybe I need to have a bit more to think about that, but that's Hopefully, I mean, grief. Look at the tailbacks. Look at the tailbacks. Oh, my goodness, the tailbacks. <sighs> Traffic is becoming a problem. Well, yes. Supporting the industry. I'm doing my best. Before's come in. Well, that's been fun. <laughs> Playing with the roads. <laughs> Oh, we've reached a new population of 16,000. We get water treatment plants and crematoriums. We can have a new area. Hooray! Well, I think we're going to look at that next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the episode as well. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.